Well, here we are again. I'm excited about tonight. I'm meeting a client tonight. I've never worked with her before, but I have worked with other colleagues in her office. She's a real estate professional, and she's looking for something a little bit different than your traditional professional headshot. She wants to show that she's got a little bit more to offer than just a woman in a business suit. Tonight, we're gonna to be shooting a woman with her car, so instead of using our small speed lights tonight, most of the night you're gonna see me using the large Octobox and my Alien B heads. This is where speed lights just don't cut the mustard. I had to bring out the Alien B light simply because I'm trying to light a large vehicle and my subject. And in order to do that, I needed a wide spread of light, but I also needed to throw a lot of power a long distance in order for it to cover that area. So this was something my speed light couldn't do. I had great natural light filling in all around, and then I just needed to overpower that natural light with uh, the flash. So we ended up with some beautiful, beautiful uh, photos that we're real proud of. I love using vehicles as a prop. You know, but one of the things you gotta be careful of is not just thinking of it as background. Use that, it is a prop. So what happens a lot of times is none of us are ever happy with our physical appearance. There's always something we're uncomfortable with. And you'll immediately know from your client whether it's a weight issue, whether it's they smile too big, there's one side of their face they don't particularly like. You know, roll with it. Do, do things that make your client happy. So I was able to put my client into her vehicle and we were able to use it to hide some trouble spots. And once you get them feeling comfortable about the photos, and again, I encourage you as you're shooting, make it a habit to take that viewfinder, turn it around and show them what you've been taking pictures of. When they start seeing how great they're looking on, on the back of your camera, boy, they start coming to life and you start getting better and better photos. Another thing you need to be careful of whenever you're photographing a vehicle, uh, whether that be a car or a motorcycle, you need to always be looking for reflections of your lights. One thing I had to do is keep raising my lights up so that they were high enough that it would not reflect back into my lens where I wasn't seeing my softbox on the side of the car. So by just moving it up, the same as if you're shooting somebody with glasses, if you just get them to raise a half an inch above their ears and put a little bit of a bend on that glasses, you're going to find that glare goes away. Now I've had the privilege to work with some incredible models over the years, but I'll tell you the one thing that I've discovered is personality, a great smile, will hide flaws better than anything. So when you're working with a customer, the more you can draw out of them, the better your photos will be. Now, when I work with a heavier client, one of the things I love to do, and this could be someone that's 10 pounds overweight, the first thing you always hear as a photographer is, can you get rid of my double chin? Well, one thing that I found a long time ago was just getting up and shooting a little bit from a higher vantage point down on your subject. What happens is when we look up, it starts to pull the skin tight, we start seeing a jawline, and, and that's what we all want to see. It gets rid of that double chin. And it, again, it doesn't matter if you're 10 pounds overweight or 100 pounds overweight. Just by having your head looking up, you'll take pounds off of the face. Don't get trapped into shooting the same photo over and over again. Keep moving, try different angles. Try shooting up high, try shooting down low. Sometimes the greatest pictures happen when you've tried something that you would have never thought would have worked. Because again, every pose does not work for every person. Every lighting scenario does not work for every person. So I just encourage you, every time you're on a shoot, Get down, lay down on the ground, shoot up on the, on the subject. Even though there are those that will tell you, never shoot up on somebody or never shoot too far down on somebody. 
I just find that each situation lends itself for being creative and you come up with something unexpected.